I'm going to show you a little bit about changing backgrounds, changing costumes, making various elements show or hide, give you a little bit of an idea how to build kind of an interactive website or learning module. So in this case, I'm doing a choose your own adventure game. And the first thing I'm going to do is just show you what it does. So I'm going to click the flag and you'll say, welcome to the castle of adventure. Where would you like to visit? And you'll notice the desert and ocean buttons pop up right now. Those weren't showing at first, and I want to show you how that works. So I'm going to click over here quickly to the desert button. And you'll notice that when the flag is clicked, I've got it set to hide. The hide choice is under look, so you have a show and a hide. Coming back to my script, you'll see I've got it hiding when the flag shows up. And then in various scenarios, when different events happen, I'm either showing or hiding the button. That's all the button really does. Um, and I'll show you a little bit more about how to make a message that you can broadcast in a little while. But for now, notice that when it receives a message called, when I receive show locations, it should show the desert button. Um, when I receive desert adventure, it should hide that button. When I receive going back to the castle, that hides the button. When I receive ocean adventure, it hides the button. So in some scenarios, it's going to hide the button. In other scenarios, when I want it to be there, it's going to show the button. That's kind of important so that if you have a whole bunch of different elements, they're not all showing at once. It allows you to do cool animations. If I go over to the ocean button, you'll notice it's almost the same thing, except I've got my different scripts in different locations. But in most situations, it's hidden. But when I receive the show locations message, I show it. That's because this is the point where I want to show someone the choice to either go to the desert or the ocean. Um, let's go back to the program and, and do the next step. So now I'm going to click a choice above to begin my adventure. I feel like going to the ocean. So I'm going to click Ocean. And you'll notice the background has changed. Not only do we get more messages about going swimming, but the background has changed and the costume has changed. So I'm going to show you how I changed both of those things now. So let's look at um, the stage itself. Let's click on the stage and you'll notice that I don't have a lot of scripts here at all. When I receive a message called Desert Adventure, I switch the backdrop, not the costume, but the backdrop to a certain backdrop called Desert 2. If I receive a different message called Ocean Adventure, then I switch the backdrop to Underwater 3. And there's another way to change the backdrop. You can actually change the backdrop from anybody's script. Um, <clears throat> I also changed what the cat looked like. So let's look at that. When I received the Desert Adventure message, I switched the costume on the cat to Desert Cat. And then I make it say the message about welcome to the desert and that it's hot out here. That's all that happens. So as a user, what is someone going to do? The only thing they really can do is click the Return to Castle button. So let's look at what that does. If we click on the Return to Castle button, you'll see that most of the time it's hidden. But if someone presses the ocean, um, choices the button to go to the ocean or the button to go to the desert, these two messages are sent. And then in either of those cases, I need to show the Return to Castle button if I'm in the ocean or the desert so I can go back. Now I've been talking a lot about messages, but I haven't shown you how to make one yet. So let's look back at the beginning and look at all the different messages. You'll notice I'm broadcasting show locations. To make a new message called show locations, I just went down here and I clicked new message and I typed something like show locations. If instead maybe I wanted to add a new location and I wanted to go somewhere else, maybe I would write like space adventure. Now I haven't made this module yet, but I could create another button called Space, and I could create a whole other series of scripts that allow someone to choose to go to outer space also. Now, if anyone ever wanted to, they could come to the Events tab and say, when I receive, and pull it in and choose to go back to the castle, go to the desert, go to the ocean, go to space, or the, again, this is my show locations choice on the main screen. These are all different messages I can send from one script or sprite to another. <clears throat> Let's go back and try our program a little bit more. So I'm going to click Return to Castle. When I click Return to Castle, it says, Welcome back, ready for another adventure. And again, I broadcast the message right here to Show Locations. The Show Locations script in various locations, remember, um, in the de Desert and Ocean scripts, says when they receive the Show Locations, it should just show the button. So when I said Show Locations, this button shows up. When I do that in the ocean and it receives show locations, this button shows up. So that gives you a bit of an idea how you can change the way that costumes look and backgrounds look and whether or not different 
sc um, sprites are showing or hiding based on sending messages and using the hide and show buttons.